they began to come in uh, as Greeks. What did they bring? What kind of people were they? I mean, they had to be great fighters. They overthrew the Egyptians. Let's talk about them. Who were they? In? How did they overturn such a powerful civilization? Well, first place you have to understand this, uh, Clemson, is that uh, the Greeks was uncivilized savages who had no writing system or a form of writing. They were uncivilized. It's never been an institution that ever came out of Greece. That you have to understand. Okay? So they, what did they bring with them? Uh, they didn't, let's say, use force on the ancient Egyptians, so far as we know and what we call force today. Okay? Such as coming in, uh, shooting, killing, etc., etc. You know, uh, that's what we know of today. Okay? But what they did, they came in by way of a wave of Europeans in flooding the area over there. Okay? And they began to take over the control of ancient Egypt and the ancient Egyptians. The ones that resisted them they're the ones that got destroyed, okay? And used as an example for others to stay in line, okay? But see, the ancient Egyptians, you got to remember, never had an army, nor were there any jails in ancient Egypt. The ancient Egyptians had a near-perfect government that has ever existed on Earth. They had no jails or army. Now, to prove that they never had an army, that any time you go to an institution that displays ancient Egyptian artifacts, you will never find war weapons in that display. So they had no uh, armies or jails. You have jails because a government or the head of the government is corrupt. That's what jails are for, for corrupt people. So if your head of your government is corrupt, quite naturally, the citizens of that government is going to be corrupt. So you need jails to put people in who get out of line. Okay? So therefore, the ancient Egyptians did not have any armies. The question that you ask, what happened to them? I'm asked that question all the time. I answer this way. What happened to the American Indian when the European come over here? He didn't have an army or jails, and Europeans took over his land area. What happened to the South American Indian when the Europeans came in that part of the world? He didn't have an army or jails to stop the European. What happened to the Indians of India who the Europeans came in and took over and caused a man that is known in history as Mahatma Gandhi to come into existence? To, to try to uh, uh, throw them off. What happened to the Chinese when the Europeans came in and occupied Hong Kong for 150 years? They just gave it back to China last year, 98. What happened to the Aborigines of Australia when the Europeans came over there? So it's just not the... Uh, the, the ancient Egyptians, you got to remember during the time of antiquity, antiquity, before the Europeans came into the continent of Africa, no race of people, no place on earth had armies or jails. Armies, armed aggression, is a European institution. That's their institution. They were fighting each other and killing each other in Europe before they came out of Europe into uh, other parts of the, and areas of the world. They were killing each other over there. See, that's their institution. The rest of the race of the people living throughout the world coexisted with each other. The ancient Egyptians civilized this whole entire world. And they went around visiting other indigenous people around the world. And in so doing, they brought a high civilization to them. They brought civilization to the whole entire planet. And you cannot 
civilize people and then bust them upside the head at the same time or kill them. 